you'll need the following items. A Phillips number zero screwdriver, a pair of fine tip tweezers, and a pick tool. I've linked a small kit from iFixit that provides these tools in the description below. First, if your Steam Deck is turned on, shut it down through the operating system menu. In my case, I'm using Windows. Once it is fully powered off, hold the volume plus on the left side and hold the power button for one second. After you hear the beep, you can release both buttons. Using the directional pad, go down to Setup Utility and press A. Then, use the down arrow to go to Power and then Battery Storage Mode. Press A and then it will ask you to proceed. Press A again and the device will shut off. If you have a micro SD card, you need to remove it from the slot or it will snap in half when opening the Steam Deck. So be sure to take this out. With your Phillips Zero screwdriver ready, flip the Steam Deck on its backside. You'll notice that there's a total of eight screws, four long and four short. The screws in the four corners are all the long size. The screws in the middle are all the short size. Starting at a corner, begin unscrewing each screw. Make sure to do this carefully as you do not want to risk stripping the screw. If it feels like the screwdriver is too small, some have said that using a Phillips one screwdriver has helped but I have opened my deck and my screws inside many times without issue with this screwdriver from iFixit. I have linked a good kit from them in this description. You can see the four long corner screws and the four shorter screws for the middle back. Set these aside for now. Now with a seven or eight millimeter pick tool, wedge it into the gap or ridge that starts where the right trigger is. This may take a little bit of work the first time. With the right side open, begin using the pick tool to open the rest, following along the same ridge or gap. You'll hear several clicks as it unlocks the plastic clips. Follow it all the way to the end of the other trigger and then it will lift off. You can set the back aside. Next, we will need to use the tweezers to peel back the aluminum foil to reveal a screw for the metal plate that covers the heatsink. Using the same Phillips Zero screwdriver, we will unscrew the three screws that secure the metal plate. There are two on the bottom and top left corner, 
and then the one revealed behind the aluminum foil tape. Unscrew all three and then lift off the metal plate. The black screw will stay intact on the metal plate. Set it aside. Now we will need to disconnect the battery. Pull the black tab on the battery cable to the right. And it's very snug, so you'll need to grip the left side with your left hand as you pull away to the right. Make sure that your left hand does not touch the power button at this time. As you can see, this takes me a decent amount of force and tries. Using the screwdriver, unscrew the single black screw securing the solid state drive. Disregard that my tape is missing on my copper heatsink, it's not necessary to remove this. Once the screw is removed from the solid state drive, lift up and pull out the drive. You can hold the left side of the steam deck with your other hand as you gently wiggle it out. We need to remove the shield from the existing drive. It should just slide off as you tug on it. Put the shield on your new solid state drive. It may be tough to slide it on. If you experience difficulty with this, you can peel the tape off the back first and then wrap it around the new drive. Make sure that the shielding pattern matches the pattern of the base where the solid state drive connects. Insert the drive at about a 35 degree angle and make sure it is pushed in all the way then secure it with the black M2 screw. To reconnect the battery, align the battery plug back into its metal connector and use your fingernail to seat it all the way. Make sure that it is fully seated or the deck may not power on after you're finished. Now we can put the metal plate back on, starting with the black screw in the middle. Then we will put the two left corner screws back and finally put the aluminum tape back over the cover for the screw. Take the back cover and start closing it at the left trigger. Continue to press down on it with both hands as it pops back into place. Make sure to go over it a couple of times from top and bottom 
Make sure that there are no visible bulges in the ridge. Now we're ready to put the screws back. We'll start with the corner screws and one at a time going cross hatched or opposing sides. Make sure not to screw them in too tightly. When you start to feel it snugging up, then you should stop. Then we will repeat a similar cross hatch pattern with the shorter screws in the middle of the back cover. To turn the Steam Deck back on, connect the power cable, which will automatically start the device. If you would like more content like this, please subscribe, join my Discord in the description, or leave a comment below. Thank you and have a pleasant day.